All right, so let's dive on in, and uh, I'll kind of stop some stuff. Ink to go clearly is what I use for this. So, so in this section right here, I'm showing you guys how I do um, the hairspray shot. Uh, clearly, I have. If we go here, clearly I have over here my assistant. She is holding a mag mod with um, with a flash, and sometimes I'll use a grid, sometimes I don't. But that's what she's using there, uh, and then I will let her know kind of where I want her. Uh, at and I generally have her right behind the head literally like right behind her the flash right behind her head I'll have the lady here. She'll kind of sit um, I, I like going behind because I like the spray up and down instead of having the spray Go like up like this or something like that and I like going from the side You can see over in this direction here is the window light. There's a huge window that's coming in this direction So you see that the light is all the way coming through the window right over here so it's hitting her face it's doing all that stuff right in there in that section so uh, I like having that there because of that uh, so it's really really nice all right so now let's go ahead and play and you'll see kind of how I how I do that through here I let I had the light make I made to make sure the light was nice uh, because you just gotta make sure right like the light looks good in the photograph Boom. So you see how she's going up like that? And I'm actually going to be like, hey, uh, can you change that? See, in that moment, I was like, hey, uh, let's try like this. But uh, we got cut um, in that in that sequence. But cool. She's still kind of going up, but whatever. There it goes. And those look really good. So those worked out well. And then for this, uh, I also, so generally during the wedding, I will always say, hey, can you, um, let's do some faking the makeup shot. I want uh, lips, I want some like blush, and then I love like the eyelash stuff like that because I like an overhead shot. Uh, and then I love shooting right over her shoulder with some gorgeous light, so you'll kind of see that there. I'll also put my settings on these, so you'll see all of my settings as well. Um, but, but it's just really nice to be able to shoot like over her shoulder and stuff like that and get those angles here. Now, I put her next to the window here. Um, generally, I put her. I like to put her next to the window, but you'll see here that it was creating like a uh, split lighting. So you can see how shaded it is right in here while the light's coming in from over here. And so what I generally do here is I will actually rotate her to face the light a little bit more. I should do that here. We'll see how that goes, but I should do that here. See that? You see the huge difference there? So there's a big difference now that uh, now that there's 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 more light and the shadow actually comes here Rather than it was way over here really splitting her and I don't want that and so this is really nice This is super um, way more way more flattering for brides uh, Especially for brides like her who are gorgeous and want to be flattered and I love here So like whenever they do the um, eyelashes I don't like for her to look up as much as I like for her to look down because then you really see the lashes and makeup artists love that stuff See those lashes? Way better. And something like this, I'm shooting a 55 here, so you can see um, that I'm a little bit back further because a 35 isn't gonna be super flattering, but I like shooting the 55 because it's a little bit more flattering for her and she'll be happy about that. Uh, about these shots, it's a little bit more thinning, especially as she's looking down over her shoulder. Now, when it comes to um, photographing the dress getting put on, I really enjoy going with the shadows, and sometimes I'll go against it because this light here looks really nice from this angle, and she'll like that from this angle, but then the other way has really nice depth, especially with black and white, and so sometimes I tend to go to that way, and so it just really depends on how you like to shoot it. So generally, I always have the bride um, before they even, like while they're getting ready, I, I don't have them put their shoes on because I like for somebody else to put the shoes on for them. I like for them to put their own earrings. Sometimes people like to have people put their earrings on for them and that's cool too. I'll get that. I always will have them in this li this window light where not necessarily split, but it is um, across their body. And what I always have is for women, especially larger women, uh, I will have their chest go away from the light so you'll see like the broader I am, the more light that shows. Look how fat this cat is right here. But the more I go this way, the if you if the, the cat was looking the right direction, the skinnier it would look because the light comes here. Uh, but then I'll bring her face back over into this direction. So when this is not in the way, you can see from this split lighting here, 
to coming here and hooking over here, this is way more flattering for a female, okay? So that's how I'll kind of do that and go with that direction, just like this. Boom. Okay? And so that's what I'm gonna do here. You see how, right in here, her shadow, look, this is all shadowed, because her shoulder, this is light right here, and this is all shadow right here, and yet, sh the shadow is only right in here. So this is all light that hits her face here. So really nice and flattering for a woman here. Um, so I always make sure that I have them facing the light, the body away. It's really nice, um, and it's a great way to uh, to make sure that she uh, is just looks great. Same thing with the shoes. Um, I like to have the, the light with the shadows in here. Okay, something to consider here. Never with women do we want to create angles that are like, um, we don't ever want to create angles like this, right? So like she brought it up and it was like, it was like this. I want her down. I want her more at, instead of being at like a right angle, maybe that's what that is. I want her down here. That's a lot more flattering for her. And then what I have her do is, as you'll see, I have her body, right, go away. So this is a lot of shadows on her back, which is really nice. And then her face is going to be turned towards me. So you'll see what that looks like. Okay, so did y'all see that? That was a huge difference. Look at how like broad her back looks, how stiff it is, all these things, and then she dropped her shoulder like that, uh, and then it created a lot more curve. So the ten like brides will have a tendency to be like this, drop that front shoulder, okay? Like so much more gorgeous. It elongates, it doesn't clump up in the neck here. Uh, it doesn't clump up in the neck here, it elongates down. It's really, really nice. And sometimes, uh, I, sometimes I do have her face the light like that, but I'm only shooting like chest up. I'm not shooting her whole body, so it's just a little bit different there. Uh, it's not as, she doesn't look as broad, uh, but this is more of a, it's kind of a glamour portrait instead of like uh, the split lighting as much. I love getting, when whenever they have a veil, I love getting just like a nice black and white or nice color with the veil over their face. It's gorgeous, and you don't even have to have the veil on at all. So again, I'm, on, I'm literally only shooting from like top of the chest up, so I'm not worried about light on the body here. I'm more concerned about light on the face, which I do want it pretty well lit. Uh, definitely not split lighting. Good, I love that, and then back down. Good. Oh, you ready? <laughs> girl. Oh my gosh, I can't even look at that. That's okay, you. So good. That's you, girl, so gorgeous. <laughs> Cool, so I hope that's helpful just for even that little stage of the bride getting ready. There's some stuff there, but uh, that's generally what I do. It's not too hard, and you saw she was blown away by it. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, I hope it's helpful for you. Uh, and if you need anything, like I always say, don't hesitate to let me know because I'm here for you. Pshh.